What's up YouTube? How are you guys doing today? In today's video, I'm just going to be trying out the DDJ FLX4. Showing you what the features do, how it works, and how good it is basically. So I have two tracks loaded up. Currently, they're not in sync. Not the same BPM. But we will use the tempo sliders over here to manually adjust them. What do I want to do? Let me move this to 126. So as you can see here, the tempo sliders are not... They're very precise, so getting them on beat like the 126 sometimes can get tricky. So for like if I wanted to make this 124, right? See how it, it just won't go to 124. You guys get what I mean? But yeah, so I'm just gonna just gonna press play. See what comes to my mind. This is not a mixing tutorial whatsoever it's me trying it out seeing what the functions do um yeah So right now the draw is playing. Let me just loop this. So right now the draw is playing. I put a low pass filter so you guys can hear me. But the drop is playing. So I'm just going to use all the different effects. See what they do. It's got like two echoes in there. One reverb. Or like three echoes. Wow, okay. One reverb, one flanger, one break, and one roll. Just see what they do. See, you know, how it works. So as of as of now, I really like the decks. You know, the pad functions are really good. Um, the hot cues feel really nice, and this jog wheel over here, it feels really smooth, really nice, and it's really easy to get a like a four B loop. You just press this button, gets you in a four B loop. You know, if you press this button, you get out of a four B loop. So as of now, I'm rating this pretty high. Just off of DJ, DJ and quality and mixing abilities. This deck is pretty good for beginners. Classic echo out. Um, 
it is very easy to do your echo echo outs with these pad functions you know you could just play a song hold this down for as long as you want and just cut down the fader very easy echo out you know it's got some nice uh beat functions you know this basically lets you choose how long you want the effect to last and this basically lets you pick where you want it to go so you know if you want specific type of effects that you want to put on that are not in these pad effects those are really nice or what happened to a record box okay the audio stopped for record box but we will continue that or the recording stop my bad <laughs> not the audio um but yeah it's got some beat jump functions right can jump from beat to beat so i'm just gonna or i'm just gonna use this as you can see on the record box i was going i was jumping one beat with this one but i'm just gonna go to the beginning of the song place a hot cue there so it's just easier for me to go from beginning to the end if i need to be Ooh, okay so it does have a sampling function okay which basically means i could add my own samples into record box and it will play them so very very i don't know how this has happened but in the sampling function on the right or on the left of the decks the side um i have one of my own songs so if i believe what is that oh, what what just Oh, it's playing my song for you guys. There we go. It... Okay, I, I, I removed it. Because it was not going to stop playing. And then, what is this? Oh, it, I think that's just a loop. So, we find something new every day. Um, That's the loop we had on. And it is put it in the sampler. What if I do that? Oh, okay, it just same thing. It's just the loop we had on, which is this one. So that is very cool. So we can actually remove this loop. We can go, or we'll just use the beach. We can go to the beginning of this track. Or that adds another hot cue, remove that. Uh, be jump. We can go to the beginning of this track. Got a hot cue. Right, play that for a while, and then go into our sampler. And I don't know. We can have it over here. So you can see here, it's like a hot cue, but you can add different samples into it. You can do a lot of Daft Punk style. Okay, I didn't know it was gonna play together for some reason. Cause on some other decks, it doesn't play together. Yeah, very, very good deck. Very um, good for beginners. I like this a lot. The sampling function's nice. The looping functions are good. Very easy to loop. You know, you can set a four bar loop, eight bar, you know, 16 bar, 32, whatever you like. You know, and if you wanna go more precise, you can do the normal, normal in or 
y is there we go in and then we go here and then we go out and then it sets sets a normal loop um the sync buttons are there's a lot of them they're right at the top here i don't really like to use the sync buttons but if you want and if you like to use the sync buttons just at the top i'm more of a tempo slider guy because that's just what i learned on but yeah good good deck for transitions you know i didn't do many transitions i was just trying this board out seeing what what it could have done um because ne i've never used this board so it's always good to mess around with it a few times and see what it does um i hope you guys like this video and i'll catch you guys in the next video